Hi everyone, Ashlyn Keys, a YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about buttons. So me and my family went to um, Le LeClaire, Iowa, um, probably I'd say about three years ago, and we uh, took a trip to Buffalo Bill Museum, and we learned a whole bunch of things, but one thing we did learn was that people used to make buttons out of like shells and stuff like that, like clam shells and oysters and whatnot. And me and my husband had no clue about that. But one day we went to the Mississippi River in um, Guttenberg, Iowa, and we went fishing. And I was like looking at all these shells that were on the like the the bank where we were fishing. And there was like perfectly made holes in the shells. Like, I mean, perfect. And I was talking to my husband. And I'm like, look at these shells. Why do they have these like perfect holes in them? Do you know? And he's like, no, I don't. Um, I've never seen that before. And I'm like, let's Google it. So I was like Googling things. And I found out that they actually like had things that punched out holes so that they could make buttons for shirts. And so like a lot of you may had already known this and thought like, oh, like this isn't new news. Um, how can you not know that or be so dumb? But really, I found it fascinating and because I didn't, I had no idea. So I kept the shells in this box that I have because I keep a lot of sentimental things like that. When me and my husband go out, we collect rocks, we um, collect shells, we um, just like cute little nice things or neat things that we find we keep um like when we tra traveled to california we went through utah and we kept a couple of the rocks that we found there because in utah they have like these really round smooth rocks um that they don't have here in iowa well they might have some here but we don't see them that often so we kept those but anyways on to the shells so these are the shells that we collected off the Mississippi River, and this one in particular is the one that I was talking about, the one that I found. So if you can see that, there is like perfectly punched out holes in this shell. So there is the back, here's the front. And I was like, what the, when I first saw that, I'm like, what the heck? And these shells were like everywhere. And so, um, let me turn on the light so you guys can see maybe the color. So see how that's so shiny and, um, like pearly looking and really just pretty. I, it's kind of dirty. It has dirt on it, but see how shiny that is. So, you know, obviously they thought that that shell was really a really pretty shell to make buttons out of. So they, they put holes in it and made the buttons, but on to information that I found on the internet. So here's some stuff that I'm going to read to you guys that I found from the web. Buttons made from shells began in early 19th century in England and eventually progressed to the U.S. after the end of the Civil War. The, the lasting... Oh, sorry. Um, it, it came to be slow kept to catch on um, by the turn of the century in 1900 um, and buttons were being pr produced in the U.S. So it didn't catch on. In other words, it didn't catch on very quickly in the, in the U.S., but it, it ended up catching on, but very slowly. And um, the buttons, a lot of the buttons came from a place called the Mother of Pearl Buttons, known as... Nark or Nick. I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to spell it to you guys. N-A-C-R-E. So I don't know. I The C might be silent. I don't know. I'm not really good at reading. but And then, so the different um, things that they cut buttons from are Moloch's, um, Oysters, um, Avalone, and Snell Shells. So... That's all the different things that they make bu made buttons out of. Nowadays, they can make buttons just out of like plastic and things like that. And actually, I found on the web something about that. So uh, you, to identify actual c uh, c shell buttons, um, you can look at the back of the button and 
um, evidence of shell or um, hold on a second evidence of shell or inconsistent coloring and it can be like the evidence of a real actual shell button because like if you look at the the button and the there's a cons consistent color and you can tell that it's like fake and not real but if it's made from an actual shell the colors will be kind of different all over the place that's that's what i have written here sorry my handwriting's bad um so the plastic buttons are more more consistent in the color and the texture so the texture and the color will be inconsistent if it's a real actual shell button but for a, a fake button the the coloring will be consistent and it the texture will be like smooth it won't be kind of beveled um so a lot of shell buttons are at a home a museum called homestead museum and there's information about the shell buttons like i was telling you guys at the beginning of this video at buffalo buffalo bill museum um and so the address to that is leclair iowa uh, buffalo bill museum in leclair iowa 52753 so if you guys ever want to go there and um look at the different information and all that and um they they have a little area where they talk about button making and stuff go there the museum's awesome they have a ship on there um it's right off of the mississippi river actually too it's a different part of the mississippi river though that me and my husband were on be when we found um all the all these shells and this shell um because we were like i said in guttenberg and the buffalo Mu museum buffalo bill museum is in leclair iowa so um they, they were in different areas but they were still off of the mississippi river the same river so pretty cool information and i thought i would share that with you guys because um like I was 30 some years old when I found out about how uh, buttons were actually made from shells. I, I didn't know that. I just literally was dumb and thought they were just made out of plastic and like a lot of things are nowadays, you know. So um, pretty neat and pretty cool to actually like see a real shell um, that they took the buttons from. So that's why we kept it. But anyways... Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better um, after losing the baby and everything. My energy level's kind of getting up a little bit again. Um, uh, I don't feel, I still don't feel 100% myself and I still don't feel 100% like physically well, but I'm getting there. So I hope to do more positive videos like these and um uh oh yeah and i was able to actually like kind of a little bit curl my hair and style it a little bit today i didn't do like much to it but i did a little i curled some pieces and you can see the um butterfly haircut turned out really cute really really nice lots of layers um but anyways you guys i'm gonna get off and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you some of you learned uh, um something new today and I will be on with another, another live topic.